Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April 2020. Your first card here is the Six of Pentacles. So a lot of you guys really putting effort, really working. Some of you guys um, feeling like I want to say what's standing out in this card at me is the hands, if you can see there. So it's almost a feeling of like not having enough time and it could be because a lot of people are either needing help from you, uh, this could be at work as well, putting long hours, trying to find the balance. Um, for some of you guys, it could just be that people are like, you know, friends, relatives, family members really wanting advice from you or coming to you to get some type of advice some type of um some type of help and it doesn't necessarily mean uh, financial help it could just be like uh, as a friend emotional support um for others of you it could just symbolize having to balance your work life as well as your professional um sorry your work life as well as having to balance your uh, private life now you do have the queen of swords here so this is coming up as an obstacle for some of you guys it could be thinking or wanting or wondering if you should cut off someone now we do have the king of swords here next to the queen of swords so this is two royals in the same suit so for some of you guys it could just symbolize um that a person is coming back or wanting to come back into your life with the six of pentacles wanting to find balance or wanting to mend fences uh, this could be a person from your past as we do have the king of swords and i do see them constantly looking at you uh, this could be uh, them looking at you through social media this could be them trying to know what's going on in your life or in your personal life um there was an ending so i feel that this has more to do with a person from your past leo uh, the Ten of Swords could symbolize an ending, a conclusion, something that happened rather quickly. Uh, perhaps there was still need for some type of healing on your part or on the ex-partner's uh, part. We also do have the Wheel here. So this is, t this is speaking to me directly about some of you guys feeling like... Um, like some type of destiny is at play in the present... It could be that um, for some of you guys, it could be that there is a feeling of like there wasn't a conclusion or there wasn't an ending to this situation and you're still hopeful deep down inside you. There could be some type of hope or a feeling of like destiny had something to do with the circumstances and the way everything unfolded. Now, what's coming up here is the devil card. So this is talking to me directly about toxic type of energy. Uh, for some of you guys, this could have been a partner that was very toxic in the past. It could There could have been some type of physical abuse, mental abuse. Um, I feel more to do with like power. So it could have been like you both were very prideful people. Uh, for some reason, there wasn't like there was no openness in this relationship or in this connection in the sense of vulnerability i feel that both your walls were always up and they perhaps seen you as a it's almost coming up as a feeling like like you belong to them you were like an object type of energy and and it's almost like it's in reverse so I don't do reversals, you guys, but it's coming up as if it was the devil in reverse. So this is shedding that bondage or removing those chains, those links to the past, being able to uh, even heal, um, even heal from this situation. And it's almost like at this point in your life, you're kind of feeling like uh, whatever it's meant for me will come it's not going to pass me by it's almost like you're trusting the universe and with the devil card here i feel that uh what they're telling you is that with this with this type of toxic energy or something about their personality that was very toxic uh could have been like 
this was a very prideful person. They perhaps belittled you or had a tendency to belittle other people, that type of energy. I feel that um, they're really dealing with accepting where they went wrong. And I feel that with the Six of Pentacles, it's like they're still coming or coming around or wanting to come around to mend the fences or let go of that, you know, that I guess the feeling of like they hurt you and they don't want you to be carrying that or be feeling that. Um, and it could be that at the present time, it could be that at the present time they see you as someone that's single. Uh, so perhaps it could be them, the ones that are thinking like maybe we're destined to be or whatnot. And let me try to uh, mend fences. Let me try to get on their good side. Let me, um, but in a way it's a form of manipulation because I do see them alone. I do see them like lonely. Um, so again, I don't think that they're coming from like a loving place. It has more to do with the feeling of perhaps some type of rejection, uh, that they can't pull away from that, or they're wanting to see if they would be able to get you back. And it's almost like a badge of honor type of thing. Um, so what spirit is telling you is embrace this, embrace the change. You have the magician card. You have all the tools and all the ingredients, um, everything at your disposal and, and, and spiritual guidance more than anything uh, to manifest the life that you're wanting, Leo. Uh, I feel that for the month of April, it's going to be very important for you guys to have faith. Uh, this could be have faith in love. It could be that perhaps from this situation, you kind of became a bit tainted. It's very difficult for you guys to bring your guard down when it comes to relationships. Um, and it could be that you're very emotionally distant. Like if you are dealing with new people that are coming into your life, it's almost like you have a tendency of kind of throwing obstacles in their way just for fun to see if they're really interested in you. But I think that it has more to do with the fear of getting hurt or the fear of allowing someone to hurt you the way you did in the past. Now, we definitely do have someone stalking here. We have the Page of Swords. So this could represent this ex-partner that is looking to you. It could be that they're looking at your social media. It could be that they're creating fake social media accounts just to look at what's going on in your life. I do see you with the Magician card, though, and the Wheel. I do see that there's like a lot of light uh that you're radiating leo so it could be that life is going very well for you it could be that you're financially growing that you're financially doing good it could be that uh in overall they just see you as a very confident person and they're trying to again look into your situation see what you're doing who you're dating uh, but there's definitely some stalking energy. Now, keep in mind, this could be your energy as well, Leo, if you are doing this because it is a general reading uh, and it could be the one that's looking into this person. Now, we do have the 10 of cups here next to the death card. So we have two tens, uh, conclusions, endings. Um, but with the 10 of cups, I do see you guys going into a more fulfilling connection, a more emotionally uh, stable relationship and this is quickly coming to you guys because you guys do have the death card so with the ten of swords and the death card there is an um complete transformation or ending of a relationship ending of a cycle i should say that within that cycle this person was involved but i do see you progressing or moving away from that type of energy this could also be scorpio energy uh, so for some of you guys it could be that you're going to be dealing with a Scorpio in the month of uh, in the month of April. So again, um, and I do see this person being very mysterious. This could be a person that is not very easy to read, um, and it could be a person that is surrounding you or that is around you, Leo, that you may not be aware that are, they're interested in you. Um, but again, all of this will start to unfold for you guys in the month of April. Okay. So I hope this gives you guys some type of insight and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.